Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and today I'm going to give you a little update on Angel Signs repeating numbers. I just got a download a few days ago and I felt the need to sit down and let you guys know. Now if you have not yet seen my original video on Angel Signs repeating numbers, I will attach it to this video. Please make sure that you go and check it out. So what is the update when we see repeating numbers 444, 1111, 777, 555, 333, and we can go on and on and on. What is the update on that? Well, the download that I received was, it's not just about your surface level story, <laughs> all right? So they were telling me, if you guys don't know, hi, I'm Michelle and I'm an angel medium and that's what I do. And so, you know, I was tuning in for a message and they said, a lot of times when people see something like 1111, it's a call to awakening, sure. However, there's something deeper going on. Or if someone sees 444, we're often encouraged, and I still encourage you to do this, but remember that there's a separation between your surface level story and what's happening on your soul level, okay? So if you see something like 444, you're encouraged to think about what you were just contemplating, what were you just worried about, or what have you, and that is typically the angel saying, you're gonna be okay, we're here with you, or if you're wondering, is this the right job for me? You might see 777. If you were just thinking about that job, you might realize, okay, this is where I need to be right now. Just because you see 777 and you were thinking about your job doesn't mean that that's going to be the job you have forever, <laughs> okay? It just means it is the right thing for you to be doing right now in your evolution. So the updated information is what is happening when you see these number flashes and what that's doing on a soul level. Okay, you ready for this? Let's get into it. So the universe is mathematical. It is made up of number patterns, right? So you are two, <laughs> right? You are of God, you know, God, source, creator, however you see it. You are of Gaia, you are of the universe. You are a combination of all of these elements, right? So when you're seeing these flashes of numbers, you're, you're suddenly noticing, and people wanna argue all the time. They're like, no, it's a psychological thing. You're in your ego, thanks for playing. Uh, thanks for your contribution. It, it's not negated here, but uh, we're talking about something else. If that's not your thing, this isn't the video for you, but let's get back to what's happening on a soul level. There is an activation that is happening when you see number codes. There is something that is flashing and it's turning something on or opening it up, opening up your light activation, yes? So that, if you notice when you see repeating numbers, depending on where you are in your ascension or your awakening process, you might have a very uplifted feeling all of a sudden. It was like, oh, someone just gave you a bunch of hydration, <laughs> right? Or it's like somebody just gave you a bunch of vitamins and you're like, oh, I feel really good, okay. That is something unlocking within you. How about that? So what do these codes contain? Codes is what I'm using as a human word that is, um, I don't know, sometimes I think other channelers will get that word code in there, but it's how we can understand it. So what essentially is happening? We have a lot of parts of us that are asleep and they had to be asleep, I don't know, to, to deal with however, <laughs> whatever phase we were uh, as a humanity, you know, whatever we were dealing with, that's how we were built to handle that situation. And now we are coming into what people are calling the golden era. We are coming into a time where we're really diving deep into our wisdom. This spells probably bad news for a lot of people who are just trying to get on um, the spiritual industry marketing train and just putting out popular content and you know getting money from that. Um, but you know it will help people who your true purpose is to get out there and share wisdom and to share things that are coming through to help lift up humanity. So they're the ones that are gonna come forward and they're going to be heard um, because people are getting more and more activated, <laughs> all right? And they are seeking, maybe seeking isn't even the right word anymore. They're starting to tune into what is real. They're tuning into what is important, what they really need to hear now. All right, so we could go through the whole thing. Um, I know people are probably sitting there going, oh my gosh, go through, because I have, I saw 11.11, so tell me exactly what codes are opening up when I see 11.11. If you were having that kind of response, take a minute, 
okay? Because it's not about that. It's not about being dazzled anymore. It's not about spirituality as entertainment anymore, even though that's how we have to, you know, put the, the settings on our YouTube channels as entertainment so that we can protect ourselves. But don't go down that rabbit hole, okay? I did do the surface level, uh, you know, number meanings. I did that in that video I just referenced. So you can go look at that. But if we're talking about the soul activation, it doesn't necessarily matter which number combo you're seeing all the time. It is activating something uh, very imperative in you as far as not your individual life, but you as a part of a collective. It's starting to awaken that part of you so that you can contribute a certain kind of light out into the world. All right. So again, if you're sitting there going, this video is terrible, you didn't even go through all the specifics, you're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> we can't be having that. So just be careful with where you let your ego take you. Right. So again, it's soul activation. It's aligning you with a mathematical universe that's uh, changing the game. It is changing the game. But what's happening is it's changing your light, as I said before, your light as an individual, and then your contribution to the light in the world, which in turn will start shifting the whole energy of the planet. That is what these repeating numbers are doing. Now, that's just the number code or the combos that you notice. There are activations happening in a lot of different ways all the time. And if we're speaking uh, especially about numbers, they're everywhere. They're actually showing me a scroll of numbers, like, and that's what is making the whole universe run, <laughs> right? So some people refer to this as the holographic universe, um, thinking of our planet here as a game and as if, you know, we're, there's some essence of us somewhere else. I don't know, like it's Atari and we're just like, <laughs> I don't know, playing around in this game. I don't know. But uh, the whole idea here and getting centered in on the message and the download that I'm trying to, uh, you know, give to you right now, the transmission that I'm trying to give you right now is that those numbers are not just telling you whether your boyfriend is good for you or not. It's opening your soul. It's opening another facet of who you are. And if you, again, I, I'm going to say this 20 times in this video, if your ego is going, yeah, but what does that mean for me? It means we'll see in three months and you can try again. I don't know. Um, but you want to be careful with that. This is about your soul's growth and waking up from a soul level and bringing that light forward. Yes. And integrating what people love to chatter about the fifth dimensional self, which is thought of as your higher self, because it resonates around the same frequency as your guardian angels, it's not archangels, but your guardian angels, people tend to call that your angelic self. And that's all well and good, right? Um, but that fifth dimensional self, it's not something that you have to pop out of this body to go experience. What we are dealing with, especially coming into the next few years, is allowing ourselves and opening ourselves opening those light codes so that we can be more receptive to that higher self integration. That's what's happening when you see repeating numbers. Yes, it is in fact the angels talking to you. Yes, you can interpret it on a surface level, but there's something even more meaningful and deeper happening. If you have questions about that, please leave them down below. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you being here. I will leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.